Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 2 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the question number 1 from the same exercise, examples 1 to 6 and exercise 3.1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link from the description box below or click the i button. Question number 2 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables says, on comparing the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, find out whether the lines representing the following pairs of linear equations intersect at a point are parallel or coincident. So they have given us two equations in all the three questions and we have to find out whether the lines representing the following equations intersect at a point or they are parallel or coincident. So if you have watched my previous videos, so in my introduction part of the exercise 3.2, I have already explained to you the relation between these ratios when the lines are intersecting, when the lines are parallel or when the lines are coincident, right? The general form of pair of linear equation is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Now depending upon the ratios of a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, we can find out whether the lines are intersecting parallel or coincident. Okay. So the first condition when the lines are intersecting then the ratios a1 by a2 will not be equal to b1 by b2 okay so when the lines are intersecting we obtain a unique solution at the intersection of the two points of the two lines which you have already seen in the previous examples and the question number one right when we obtain a solution we can say that the lines are also consistent the second condition is when the lines are parallel to each other in this condition the ratio a1 by a2 will be equal to b1 by b2 and this will not be equal to c1 by c2 okay so at this point there will be no solution since the lines are parallel and also since we don't obtain any solution we can say that the lines are inconsistent similarly that the third condition is when the lines are coincident coincident lines in this condition, the ratios a1 by a2 will be equal to b1 by b2 and that will be equal to c1 by c2. All the three ratios will be equal and therefore, since the lines are coincident or overlapping, we obtain infinite number of solution. That is, any point on the overlapping lines forms the solution. Okay, since we are obtaining a solution here, therefore we can say that the lines are consistent. So this I have detailedly explained you in my introduction video for exercise 3.2. Now coming back to this question. So let us solve the first part of the question number 2. Equations given are 5x minus 4y plus 8 equal to 0 and 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0. Now comparing this with the general form of the pairs of linear equation, let us find out the coefficients that is a1, b1, c1, a2, b2 and c2. So from the first equation, what will be the a1 value that is the coefficient of x that is 5 Then the coefficient of y that is b1 is equal to minus 4 we have to take the coefficients with the sign. Similarly, the C1 value that is the constant is plus 8. Likewise, let us take the coefficients in the equation 2 as A2, B2 and C2. The coefficient of X is here 7, coefficient of Y, B2 is 6 and constant C2 is minus 9. Now, using these coefficients, now let us take the ratios of a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. So what is a1 by a2 value? a1 by a2 is 5 by 7. Similarly, b1 by b2 will be minus 4 by 6. That is cancelling 2, 2 is 4, 2, 3 is 6 or this will be minus 2 by 3. Similarly, what is c1 by c2? It is minus 8 by 9. 
right now if you look at the conditions here for the first intersecting line a1 by a2 should not be equal to b1 by b2 so here a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 right so the first condition is satisfied for the other two conditions a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 so these two conditions are not possible that is parallel lines and coincident lines so here we can say that therefore the ratios a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 therefore we can say that the lines representing the following pair of linear equation intersect at a point and have a unique solution right therefore the lines representing pair of linear equation intersect at a point and hence we'll have a unique solution and the lines will be consistent since we are obtaining a solution here okay so similarly let us solve the second part of the question In the second part of the question the equations given are 9x plus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0 and 18x plus 6y plus 24 is equal to 0. Again comparing this with the general form of the pairs of linear equations we can write the coefficients that is a1 value here is 9 b1 is 3 and c1 value is equal to 12. Similarly from the second equation a2 value is 18 b2 is 6 and c2 value is 24. Now let us find out the ratios of these value that is a1 by a2, 9 by 18. So cancelling 9 1 times, 9 2 times. So we get the ratio 1 by 2. Similarly, b1 by b2 will be, b1 is 3 and b2 value is 6. So 3 1 times, 3 2 times. So we got 1 by 2. Again c1 by c2. We have 12 divided by 24 so 12 1 times 12 2 times is 24 so again we got 1 by 2 so all the three ratios here are equal when the all the three ratios are equal which condition is possible the lines are coincident lines since a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 right therefore we obtain infinite solution and lines will also be consistent therefore you can write down since a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to c1 by c2 and all that is equal to 1 by 2 therefore we can say that the lines representing pair of linear equations are coincident okay so this is how we obtain the solution similarly let us solve the third part of the question third part of the question equations are 6x minus 3y plus 10 equal to 0 and 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0 again comparing this with the general form of the pair of linear equation the coefficients are a1 is equal to 6 b1 is equal to minus 3 and c1 is equal to plus 10. Similarly from the second equation a2 value that is the coefficient of x is 2 b2 is coefficient of y that is minus 1 here we have only minus so we are taking as minus 1 okay so c2 is equal to plus 9 so let us now find out the ratios of a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 so a1 by a2 here it is 6 by 2 2 1 times 2 3 times so we get a1 by a2 value as 3 similarly b1 by b2 is minus 3 by minus 1 so minus and minus will get cancelled and you will get plus 3 here okay similarly what is c1 by c2 10 by 9 so here if you observe a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 value is 3 so here a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 are equal right a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to 3 but what is c1 by ct value it is 10 by 9 right so a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 are equal but it is not equal to c1 by c2 so that condition comes when the lines are parallel that is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is not equal to c1 by c2 right so therefore you can write a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but that is not equal to 
C1 by C2 ratio. So therefore, we can say that lines representing the following pairs of linear equation are parallel to each other. Since the lines are parallel, they, we obtain no solution. And since we obtain no solution, we can say that the lines are inconsistent. So therefore, write down the lines representing pair of linear equations are parallel to each other okay hopefully you have understood this problem it is very easy so here to solve this problem you have to know the ratios and the relationship between them that is for intersecting lines the ratios are a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 will not be equal whereas for parallel and coincident lines this ratios a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 whereas the difference is only between c1 and c2 where in parallel lines it is not equal to c1 by c2 whereas in coincident lie it is equal to c1 by c2 so you have to know this ratios very well to solve these kinds of problems so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number three from exercise 3.2 chapter three pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc nsart math and also do watch the related videos of chapter three pair of linear equations shown on the screen Thank you.